Max, first with you. Uh, the Saudis said that Khashoggi left the consulate alive. It took them um, over two weeks to come up with their new story uh, that he died in a fist fight. Why should anybody, especially the president, why should they believe this? It's, it's, it's utterly baffling, Don. I mean, as, uh, as Jamal's editor at the Washington Post, Karen Atia, said tonight, this is utter bullshit. I mean, it is just unbelievable, this notion that Jamal Khashoggi, uh, a 59-year-old journalist, got into a fight with 15 Saudi goons and yeah. somehow wound up getting dismembered. Yeah. I mean, this is just so unbelievable that the Saudis are truly insulting our intelligence by expecting us to believe that. But Donald Trump is happy to collaborate in this cover-up. So, he, he, so he goes in, 59, right. uh, and gets into a fight, right? And then they cut up his body. I mean, why? If you get into a fight, if he goes in and he starts a fight, it presumably would be his fault. Then why would they cut his body up? It, it doesn't make it, any it sense. It makes absolutely no sense. I mean, sense. who would start a fight with 15 guys? Maybe <laughs> The Rock, but not some 59-year-old journalist, okay? It makes zero sense. Yeah. Uh, so President Trump, he doesn't seem concerned that the crown prince is leading this investigation. As, as I said, um, the fox in the hen house, right? He's leading the investigation. But isn't the central question is, what did this, what did the royal family know? Right. And, and especially and this is supposed to be a thorough investigation. Obviously, obviously it's not. Well, these the, the people who are implicated in this heinous murder are all people very close to Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, MBS. I mean, it just strains credulity to imagine he did not know and, in fact, order this operation. In fact, there are leaks coming from U.S. intelligence to suggest that he did, in fact, order this operation. Now, the leaks uh, talk about a kidnapping operation, so it's unclear whether he also ordered the murder. But, you know, the fact that you had this 15-man team, the fact that you had a pathologist with a bone saw, I mean, who comes to a fight with a bone saw? That indicates to you that this was fairly nefarious intent here. And this attempt to whitewash the Crown Prince's involvement is, is just ridiculous. It's absurd. And it's Un truly unbelievable that, you know, Donald Trump is somebody who does not believe that Barack Obama was born in this country, but he believes this cock and bull side.